Hello and welcome to Random Monday Ramblings. Well, it's summer here in Australia and summer means barbecue weather. Tomorrow I've been invited to a barbecue party and I've been asked to bring a plate. That doesn't mean bring a plate for me to eat off. No, it means bring a little contribution towards the party. And what plate do I always bring? My jelly pinwheels. And what are jelly pinwheels? I shall have to tell you. Now under this layer of cling film is my offering for the barbecue tomorrow. Reggie's jelly pinwheels. Now I didn't actually come up with the recipe for this, but I'm the one who introduced it to my circle of friends and hopefully with my little tutorial video, you'll be able to introduce it to your circle of friends. So this is one ingredient that you'll need and that's jelly crystals. The jelly crystals I found that work the best are aeroplane jelly. Um, just because, I don't know, because it works well. A flavour that goes really nicely is either passion fruit, creamy soda, or this one, the lemonade. They all work really well. However, a flavour that doesn't work, orange. Now another ingredient you'll need is mini marshmallows. Not the regular sized marshmallows, but the mini ones. These ones come in the baking section of my supermarket rather than the confectionery section. But I go for this bag, the pink and white. And that's because you find that the colour does affect the finished product. So if you're doing, say, a strawberry in another colour, you can use the white for the other colour and the pink for the strawberry. And uh, these come in 100 grams, and you will use roughly 50 grams or half a bag per batch. I like to make two batches, so it works out perfectly. First things first, you need a baking dish. I've got one about this big. Um... Spray it with a bit of spray-on oil stuff and then wipe it off with paper towel. Just so it's like a you know, super, super thin coating. That's all you need. Now into a microwave safe jug, we pour the contents of our jelly packet. I'm doing passion fruit this time round. There we go. Entire contents, all the jelly crystals. Yay! And half a cup of boiling water. Only half a cup. I know that the directions on the packet will say to put in uh, a cup of boiling water, but you only need half a cup at this step. Now we just give it a stir to start to dissolve the jelly crystals. The jelly crystals actually won't dissolve in just half a cup of water, so we need to pop it in the microwave and uh, give it about I like to go in 20 second lots because you find overheating can lead to certain disasters. So here we have the jelly crystals pretty much all dissolved, getting as close to, um, well in chemistry terms, what we call a saturated solution. And I've already gone ahead and I've divided the m marshmallows into uh, pink and white half and half because as I said you need about half a bag 50 grams or one cup of mini marshmallows straight in there give them a stir get them well kind of incorporated so back in the microwave it is for another roughly another 20 seconds this is for two reasons one we want to get that marshmallow more dissolved and two, we also want to get some air into it. We need it to sort of puff up a bit. Now, this needs to be watched because too much microwaving equals no puff at all. So here it is out of the microwave. It's very puffy. Give it a stir. If there's any lumps, I'll be popping it back in the microwave for another 10 seconds max. Okay, so there's still a few little lumps, but I'm not going to stress about that because, like I said, over microwaving is more disastrous than under microwaving. So pour it into the dish, and as you'll see, it only makes a very thin layer on the bottom of the dish, but that's perfect. And then straight into the fridge. So now the jelly is set, and it really doesn't take long to set. Usually within half an hour to an hour, it is set and this is the wonderful thing it actually as it sets the two layers sort of 
magically separate. It's really cool. Next step, a sharp knife. Okay, declaring I needed a sharp knife probably didn't sound so good. But what I mean by that is, to help get it out, just carefully run the knife around the edges of the tray to give us an edge to be able to pull it out. Now this is the part that takes two hands and of course I'm using one of my hands to hold a camera but basically just easing the jelly goodness up here. Be careful because the marshmallow layer is really really sticky. Basically you just need to fold it over and roll it up. Okay, so I've had to use two hands to make the first layer, but first fold, but I'm pretty sure you can figure that bit out. Just the rolling along the pan. All good. Try and keep it even. <laughs> not so good. Oh, not so bad. Until we've got a roly-poly jelly sausage. When chopping it, first of course, you chop off the end bit and then chop it into, well, whatever size pieces you want. Roughly this big is what I cut it into. And I usually find I get probably about two dozen little slices out of it. So here is my platter of jelly pinwheels completed, ready to be wrapped and refrigerated to take to the barbecue tomorrow. And I've made four flavours. I've made port wine, passion fruit, creamy soda and lime. And you know I mentioned before about not overheating the marshmallow? <clears throat> Oops. So as you can see the marshmallow layer in the port wine is kind of not there as much as it is in the other flavours and that's because I overheated the marshmallow. Oopsie! But anyway, I know these are going to be a big hit and there's going to be heaps of people saying I need the recipe, these are awesome! And you know what? They are awesome. They're awesome and they're easy. So this has been my Monday. And this has been Random Monday Ramblings, and uh, random enough for you. Bye!